Inside the toy shop, there are about ten boys around the same age as me. Why can't they be in this game? Why is it all girls? God damn it. Apparently they all knew Mion, and finding out that she had just arrived, they greeted her with jeers a few at a time. Did you have to load the line there? I had to load the processing power. <laughs> <laughs> Michan is a regular at this toy shop. So she has a lot of friends. Do you want to stop messing with your mic? Ow. Sorry, it was falling in my bad. <laughs> a regular at a toy shop. And I'm the delinquent. What's up with that? Hey, Keiji san san. I don't know. Take a look back here. No, keep saying san! <laughs> <laughs> Following Sadako's prompting, I took a look. There were chairs lined up at tables, almost like some sort of birthday party. The, the play of magic? Hates us. The gathering? I realized it immediately. Yugi! Oh! It couldn't be. This is the <laughs> venue for today's club activities. Naruto! Surprised, Kei-chan? I'm good friends with the owner here. I give him blowies in the. <laughs> I can't make that joke. Well, I Isn't mean, she that's... like 15, Jay? Yeah, I can't make that joke. <laughs> Jay, look, you need to calm down. Canceled before we ever began. I know, like, right? <laughs> the calamities that are your memories. Stop oh, them. Yeah, look, dude. man, just because I have gigantic breast scissors, he sometimes lets me hold game tournaments to expand his customer base. Expand his base, I see. Meaning all the boys livening up the place were participants? That's right! Normally it's just us five, but today we're gonna play with lots and lots of people. Everyone's gonna die. Raina was innocently happy about being able to play with so many people, but my expression grew noticeably stern. <laughs> Keiichi san, I know exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> Say it right. Oh. You're not saying stuff right. Why do I have to? <laughs> but I am. Well, then why you're don't not. you try saying it? Sudoku. Sudoku? Sadako. Sadako. <laughs> it's not a T, it's a T. <laughs> Satoko. Satoko. Satoko? Satoko. I just say it quickly. Sadako. No, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, sure. <laughs> Together, okay? One, two. These are all enemies! Sadako's voice and mind blended together in harmony. Except it wasn't there, but we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> we looked over at the participant. After all, the top prize was $600. My eyes lit up like a flame. Hey, Kei-chan. Looks like today will be fun. <laughs> well, no matter how many more rivals I have, the goal is still the same. Rivals? Kei-chan, do you think a whale keeps track of all the krill it eats? Wow. What an obscure... She said that in an unpleasant voice, laughing with an aggressive glint in her eyes solely reserved for club activity. Damn it, Mio. She's as serious as she can get today. I'm not the only one who's serious. Take a look at Rika-chan. Me on point. Looking at where her finger directed me. Oh boy. What the hell is that? Rika-chan was using those kinds of trades oh, to soften I am up so... the group to, with an almost excessive pleasantness. Oh, aren't I so cute? <laughs> I am also going to do my best. Go for it! Yatta! <laughs> Oh my god. It's multiple Go people. Go for it! Go for Yay! it! Yay! Woo! Completely Come emasculated, the group joined Rika-chan in cheer. 
The inside of the store had been consumed by the world of Rikachan. <laughs> Why, didn't she? <laughs> Damn, she's already chomping at the bit. No, this music. It, it seems like today is going to be fun! I'm going to do my best! Oh. Oh. Nightmare. <laughs> Seemed that Rena was also unusually fired up by the crowd. Hopping and running around, she had entered entirely into cute mode. In Rena's case, the real fun starts when her tension gauge fills up. This is feeling more gamer like in this. Her happy go lucky yeah. attitude be belayed the fact that this was the state in which she was the most threatening. God damn that piano though. We're so good. It. Mm. Mion was making small talk with some of the regular customers as she, she was acquainted with. It was like business as usual with her. Sorry, I'm going to lower the volume just a little bit more. I sense it's too loud. Okay. What the fuck? Of course, if anybody thought Mion looked ordinary, they weren't qualified to be in our club. The shadow beneath her feet was exuding killer instinct, rising up like a chill in the wind. Damn it, Mion. Throwing away her honor and humanity like that. She's serious. But 50k yet? Keiji san, don't, didn't you know? Damn it! She's not doing it anymore! <laughs> the 50,000 yen prize is from Mion san's own pockets. What? 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 She's putting out the six hundred dollars all on her own. We're not localizing this. <laughs> At that moment, a dark miasma that warped me on surrounding began to appear. Bitch, I do what I want. Hmm. What is it, Kachan? Is there? Something on my face. Uh -uh. <laughs> ah, the shiver crept up my spine. And me on cornering herself like that. She was pulling out the demon lurking within her. Fine, with me. Damn it. My knees are shaking like crazy. Mom spaghetti. Never forgetty. Before I realized it, the store had filled up with even more people. However, the looks in their eyes weren't confrontational. You're not confrontational. They were looks of expectation and curiosity. They were the eyes of onlookers who were wondering what kind of match was going to occur and who was going to win. I swear to God, if this is not decided by a shadow game, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> You couldn't ask for a better stage than this. This is getting interesting. Kichikun! Let's do our best, okay? Do our best? Oh. Oh. Marina was already fully charged. Mortal laws and common sense held no power before the might of Rina chan in her cute mode. I definitely don't want to fight her if possible. Rika-chan, do your best. We are all cheering you on. <laughs> oh wait, that was the wrong way around. I thought it was Rina chan Oopsie poopsie. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll just take it. She's just talking to herself. Yeah, she's just talking to herself. Run! Oh. Rika-chan, who was exuding way too much charm, no matter how you looked at it, already won over most of the onlookers to her side. Nonchalantly avoiding things had always been Rika-chan's creed, but for her to be so blatantly laying out her machinations like this... Something was definitely strange. Like Rena, she was somebody who I didn't want to fight if I could help it. 
Of course the one you don't want to fight the most is Mion san I've been lucky to even leave alive more than a few times at the end of club activities, but... I don't think there was a day that even came close to being this dangerous. Uh... You. Okay. Mion san seems to have developed quite the grudge after losing that poker match a few days back, you know? Seems that way. In other words, today is just an elaborate stage for her revenge. No oh, damn. <laughs> oh shit! That's that's a look of murder. Almost as though she were psychic. Mion turned towards her. Her eyes silently conveyed the message. You've only just figured that out. It wasn't just Mion. Both Rina and Rikachan were more pumped up than they'd ever been. Yeah. One's gonna pop up today. Without a doubt, there'll be casualties. Without a doubt, someone's gonna die. It seems that somehow Keichan-san and I are the only ones left. Keichan-san? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Should we have we should we not have our match during the opening round? Might as well. I need to warm up before I can really kick it into gear. Oh, My no. spinal column shuddered like it had been uh. struck by a bolt of lightning and a pillar of ice was being jammed into it. It began to freeze. I could almost see the flames backlighting Sadako with her intensity. <laughs> Even then, while Sadako was displaying a normal smile, it was cold and inhuman, almost as if it were a plastic mask. She's killed. Nope. Uh, you yeah. must really no, want no, to No, 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 that's Ron, that's Ron, that's Ron. Oh, no. <laughs> you must really want to eliminate me in the opening round. You can't hide that murderous intent. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. You're being uncharacteristically cautious today, Keiichi Ho ho ho! Without a doubt, she was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she had up her sleeve, but if I fought with Sadako during the opening round, my loss would be more certain than if I went up against Mion. A pitch black miasma permeated the inside of the store. God, he exaggerates so much. Did they all want to win that $600 so badly? Yes, a bitch is poor. <laughs> no, that's not right. The only ones competing for the prize money were the casual participants. I was different. I had just mistaken this as a way to fool around on a normal Sunday. Yeah, what if he just said no? Did it show up? It didn't matter oh when it God. was, or where it was, or who our opponents were. In our club, the goal is always the very top of the mountain. An intense flame that no strong winds could extinguish. Hot enough to melt any steel began to burn inside me. The fuse had been lit on this unprecedentedly intense club battle. It was then that the owner of the store told me on, in a lackadaisical voice, that it was about time to begin. Is everybody ready? Listen Even close better. now. Mian began with the formalities, standing in for the owner, and explained the rules of today's tournament. Uh... You're only playing to win. There is no second or third place. That's the same rule as our club. There were 15 people participating. We were to split up into five groups via a draw, and each group would have one winner. Each winner in the first stage would advance to the next in order to, comp to compete in the final. Now. Oh, sorry. Now, as for how each group will compete, each table can decide to play whatever they want. 
As long as the game is here in the shop, anything goes. Already in club mode, DEFCON 1. I didn't let the small <laughs> gap in the rules go on and out. Unnoticed. Mion, can I ask a question? Won't everybody push to play a game they're good at and not be able to agree on which one? How? That's right. If we can't decide, we can't start. The spectators all not audit along. It was only natural. There wasn't anybody who would simply cede to their opponent's suggestion. I'd prefer if you were all good sports and managed to come to a decision on your own. But if it comes to a stalemate, should we have the store own store's owner decide for you? It was an event at the toy store after all. You'd expect the owner to be a referee. After that, Mion's rundown continued. It ended with the rule that any losing participants would have to buy the game they lost at. A rather nice proposition for the store. <laughs> it's kind of First, fucked up. <laughs> we, yeah. used, we used to draw to split into five groups. It's the entrance, VJ. Fucking, fucking. <laughs> you lost at this game? Now you hate it? Yeah, you have to pay for it. <laughs> First, we used a draw split into five groups. Everybody lined up single file and began to draw tickets that the store owner had prepared. It was my turn. All right, time to draw. No matter who I was up against, I had to crush him. And it's both me on. Neon began to laugh with a hawkish gleam in her eye. This is set up. Of course, I'm sure you already know. But club members will have a separate penalty game than the casual participants. <laughs> I thought as much. What's the gist of it? The winner gets to give the losers one order each. Contrary to how simple it sounded, it was fucking horrifying. <laughs> the subject of which no one could predict. Damn you, Mion. Was she <laughs> really planning on parading me around? Hina Mizawa in cat ears and a banana hammock with a tail attached or something? Oh no! The a look on Mion's hammock? face told me she oh. wasn't going to let me off that you easy. You do not know the legend of the oh, banana hammock? Oh! No. I will Google it right now while we continue. Oh my god, the first picture. Yes! Did, did you want me to send it to you? Do you need me to send no, it to no, you? No, 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 no. Because there's on a lot of, of dick that, on this Pinterest. This time it wasn't the person who finished last who'd have to submit to the penalty game. The losers get one order each. In other words, even if you don't finish last, you still have to do a penalty game. That'd oh. be the case. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> and what if none of us win? It's neon green. Yep. Oh, you did send it into the chat. Like if all the it. club members drop out midway through. <laughs> Kei chan, are you all right in the head? What? The look in Mion's eyes became that of a lion baring its fangs. How exactly are the elite members of our club going to lose to some mewling newborns? Keichan, don't embarrass me by getting eliminated in the first round. Even so, I didn't feel threatened. The more into it my opponent was, the stronger I'd become. You just wait and see. I won't just sit here and be bullied by you, Mion. I'll show you. Oops. We shall meet in the finals! Ow! <laughs> wow. You wow. The results of the draw were enough to make you cry conspiracy. Do you, do you need a, a break from reading MC? No, sorry, I'm just getting thoughts. 
All the members oh. of the club were nicely divvied up amongst the He's five tables. He's still thinking about the banana hammock. Yeah, he is. He's focusing on that chest hair. <laughs> How did this happen when the draw was that random? Hmm. The thought that I was already caught in Mion's puppet strings made me feel uneasy. Almost as if every aspect of today was set up by her and her good friend, the shop owner. That was fine, though. I'll crush all your petty tricks. Now, where were my opponents? Everybody was headed to the table corresponding to the number on their ticket. The competi competition at my table was... These two, huh? They looked younger than me. Huh? Aren't you two classmates of mine? Oh, hi. I'm Tomita. This is Okumura. Akamura. Shut up. <laughs> Akamura couldn't greeted me by nodding his head. So, my opening round was going to be against my juniors from school. Just saying it. But it seemed like a pretty easy matchup. Lucky. Time to destroy them without mercy. All uh, right then, everybody. Oh wait, no, that's uh, Neon. I I think that might be, yeah, Neon. Okay. Yeah. All right then, everybody. Please decide on your games and start. <coughs> With Neon. Ah! <laughs> Neon's declaration, the inside of the store suddenly became lively. Everybody was yelling their favorite games at each other while trying to gain the advantage before they started. Even my two classmates, who seemed to taciturn at first glance, began to fiercely insist on their own games as soon as the signal was given. Of course, I would kick those suggestions aside. There was absolutely no reason to pick a game your opponent was good at. <laughs> Sorry, they're all games I don't know. Could you pick something a little more well-known? Of course, they didn't agree to the games I suggested either. I could only smirk bitterly. Naturally, after five minutes, this table still couldn't agree on a game. Obeying the rules, we asked the store owner to decide on a game. Clearing his throat, the shop owner brought over a board game from the back of the store, rated at what is this? Six hundred dollars. <laughs> it was a game called Billionaire. All oh, part of my beautiful plan. Quite the vintage we have here. Come to think of it, if you lose, you have to buy this game. That damned shop owner. Was he using this competition to get rid of all the games he couldn't sell? Genius. I know this one. You guys do too right? Spin the wheel, head to the goal. Whoever has the most money after we liquidate our assets is the winner. The two nodded in agreement, and finally the game was underway. At that time, I already had a feeling of impending crisis. I wouldn't realize why until the game progressed a bit. One, two, three, four... Celebrate the birth of your child. Oh, it's life. Receive $5,000 from everybody. Sorry. Okay, I've built a bit of lead. One, two, three, four, five, six, Wait. seven, eight. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bonus! Receive up hundred thousand dollars from the bank. What? The tables were turned in an instant. What is this? A game of chance? I think it's your go. One, two, three. Pro proceed to the corporate ladder course. Whoa, that's a good route. It seemed like only my piece was landing on the steady spaces. I had doubts as to why Mion didn't bring out board games or club activities. 
that reason was laid bare to me before my eyes. That's right. I had only realized it now. This game was completely based on luck. What could I possibly do to make sure I ended up in first place at the end? The ultimate outcome of this game was decided in a place beyond human hands. Not really, you can just control how much you strength you flip the thing with, but yeah. how were the other club members doing? Go ahead. I naturally wandered off to the other tables. Oh my gosh, she's gonna have a line now. Mia's table was... What? They weren't doing anything. Had they still not decided on a game? This naive idea existed to distract me from the most frightening possibility. Mian was lounging about leisurely, holding some juice he had bought from the vending machine outside in one hand. When our eyes met, she gave me a look of ease. It couldn't be. She'd already finished. What game was it? That easily? It was probably too late to be concerned with at this point. Only five minutes since we started, and her two opponents were already beyond recourse. They were sitting there, slumped over in utter disappointment. God, that was fast. Muttering to themselves, trying to figure out where they went wrong. For that, they'd find no other answer than the wrong opponents. What about Rena's table? The spectators were causing quite a commotion. It looked like their game was Karuta. The shop owner was apparently the one reading out the cards. Rena tended to dawdle along and space out a lot. Wouldn't she have a hard time with this game? The ADD hits hard. Then I'll read it out. Whoa. That's not me. Hey! Hey! At the same instant, the shop owner began sounding out the words. The card in question disappeared off, <laughs> disappeared off the face of the table. No, the face of Earth. Impossible. Where did it go? It was against Rena's cheek. She was rubbing it there. <laughs> Which cheek? <laughs> yep, I knew it. Gassy? Gassy's taking a shit. I, kn I knew it. How? So cute! I'm taking it home! <laughs> Looking at the card Rena was rubbing against her cheek, it was some anime-themed version of Karta, with rather cute Moe illustrations decorating the cards. Basically, it was a picture of a pretty go dog girl with a slightly large chest, panting and half in tears as she was being pulled along on a chair. What the what fuck? What the fuck? With those types of pictures, even I could play with godlike speed. Of all people to play that game, it had to be Rena. It was entirely possible that her fingertips were on the verge of breaking the sound barrier. It's over. and smiled coolly, seeing no further reason to keep watching. She turned back. So cute! So cute! Even if Rita wins, I'll still buy these cards! Ugh. I'm taking them home! Oh! After that, the second, the cards started being read out. BAM! BAM! Such decisive sounds echoed. Well then, how about Sadako? Oh, she is playing a rather orthodox game. God damn it, Cassie, come back! Concentration. Just wait. Just Ooh. wait? Ah! Sorry. You abandoned me in my time of need. I told you to use the bathroom. I know. Okay. But I had to do Rena lines, and I hate you for Sorry. that. Ron? Judging from the distressed look on Sadako's face, it Sudoku. seemed that she was struggling somehow. Sudoku. <laughs> One of the main characters of concentration is that the pace of the game speeds up as it goes on. As the number of cards to memorize decreases, it becomes easier to match several pairs in a row. 
it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the first person to take over the flow of a match can run away as the winner. The cards still in play had decreased. If you memorized the cards that had been turned over before, you should have a good chance to sweep the table at this point. Sadako probably knew the positions of all the remaining cards. However, her turn came a little too late. If her opponent followed up, the match would be decided. Uh, I think this is a random person. Oh. Guess you go ahead. I took the last one. Gassy? Yeah, go ahead. It's not okay. it's not Satoko, but it's a random person. Hold you. Sorry, but I'm also aiming for the prize money. Don't hate me for this. This guy. Did he have the locations of the remaining cards memorized? He was completely certain of his victory. But he fucked it up. The tension on his face relaxed. Jesse. <laughs> it's over. Oh, wait, no, it's not you. Never mind. <laughs> I whispered that in a bored manner as I turned my attention back to my own game. I spun the wheel. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> what? No way. The Ace of Hearts should have been here. There was a commotion at Sadako's table as the shout rang out. The other two at my table turned around in surprise. I didn't. Mm -hmm. After all, there really wasn't anything to be surprised about. The onlookers were confounded, most of them certain that the Ace of Cards, Ace of Hearts, should have been there. <laughs> 